Hello everybody and welcome back to another Pokemon Let's Go Shiny Lock. In today's video, I'm going to be continuing continuing on looking for the Shiny Weedle. Um, if I don't find the Shiny, I will cut this out. I won't even post this video. But if I do find the Shiny, then you guys will obviously see that video. Now I am searching in the forest for the Weedle. But, I mean if it pops up here pops up out here on Route 2, I'll catch it. <sighs> so it didn't pop up, so we're going to the forest. Combo of thirty three now. Um, if you guys watched my last video, you know what Pokemon, like obviously I'm looking for the Weedle, but what other Pokemon I'd be okay with having. Um, like I'd be okay having the Caterpie, Oddish, and Bulbasaur. And that's really all you can catch here except for the Pidgey. But the Pidgey, it um... I already have a shiny Pidgey, so I could catch it and still be able to catch another shiny, or I could just let it despawn and hope to find another shiny, shiny in that time. Um, also, if I find a shiny Kakuna or Metapod, I will catch that, and also if I find the shiny Butterfree. Like, obviously my target is Weedle, because I would love to have a shiny Beedrill. But if I get, you know, Caterpie, Metapod, or Butterfree, I'd be okay with that. Because there's always Route 2 where I can get the shiny Weedle.
and in the next town um, after we beat Brock and we're able to go to the next town you know we catch all the shiny Pokemon along the way in the next town we can actually trade um, Rattata for the Alolan version so I will do that once I get to the next town so I did find out where we can trade our Kanto Rattata for the Alolan Rattata I told you I'd let you guys know once I found out and everything. And I'm also counting fossils as able to use. Like, I might have a bunch of Pokemon. <laughs> Shiny Pokemon, that is. But... I still feel like if I don't... If I'm not properly prepared, I still can lose this thing, so... <clears throat> but yeah, I can get the... Amber Fossil to revive, and as long as it's shiny, I can use it. And then either the Dome Fossil or Helix Fossil. Um, I can't use the other, well, I could use the other fossil, um, on the second round of fighting the Elite Four, but the first round I can only use either the Dome or the Helix fossil, and I honestly don't know which one I'm going to use yet. Toxic. But yeah, if I do see a shiny Pidgey, and I let it despawn, or if I do catch it, whatever. Um, I don't know if I said that already, but it won't count towards my shiny lock. Because I already have a P Pidgey. So that's, that's one of the rules called the dupes clause. And if I find like a Pidgeotto or Pidgeot later on, that's shiny. That will also fall under the species clause. So if I find, you know, if I am able to catch the shiny Weedle here, and then I see it out there on Route 2, it will it'll be under the dupes clause where I won't, I don't have to catch it. But I'm always going to catch a shiny, regardless if I can use it or not, just because it's, it's a shiny. But I'm always going to try to catch a shiny. And put it that way.
Ooh, pineapple berry. I'm gonna be using that. to use it literally one second before oh pineapple berry I'm gonna use that get into a fight with a weedle immediately catch it oh man that's just insane okay then What in the heck? There we go. Ooh. I had four at first, so... Okay, I'm gonna use... I'm gonna use two pineapple berries to get more candies. Because that'll help me be able to buy more Pokeballs. So getting excellent on these Pokemon, it's really easy. But once you get to like Onyx and like Mr. Mime, Chansey, like the ones that jump around, move around a lot, like eat Butterfree. Butterfree is really hard to get an excellent throw on. I mean, you can get excellent throws on any Pokemon here. It's just some are harder than others. I was waiting to catch him. So, in this video, I'll probably get to like 60 catch combo, and then I'll end the video. Oh. 
Why did that ball throw? I didn't even move. Whatever. Like, I didn't even attempt to throw the ball. Alright, so we're just going to uh, sit here, or stand here, and wait for more Pokemon to spawn. And I'd prefer to see Weedle spawn more than not. Just need to start catching as many as possible so I can get that money up, honestly. So I feel like this hunt's gonna be a while, that's why I said I'm gonna cut I'm not even gonna show this video if there is no shiny. Okay then. Alright, 
so we're at 52. Pretty good. All, all it takes is just one Pokemon appearing and hitting one of the shiny rolls. That's all it takes. Essentially, essentially, you just got to get lucky. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. Because I forget what the shiny rate is right now with the catch combo 31. But if you get one out of that certain number, if you get that shiny number, then the shiny Pokemon will appear. And what's great right now is... You have, well, I have four shiny rolls. Well, one shiny roll guaranteed, and then three of them are. It may happen and it may not happen. So you get that first shiny roll. If it doesn't work or if it's not shiny, then it'll test to see if it can do another shiny roll. If it can't, then it'll test the next one and the next one. But if it can, and it's not shiny, then it'll test this. Like, it'll just keep going. Like, I wish they just would have made it where we just got one. We got the shiny rolls automatically. So we had, you know. We essentially had four tries to get a shiny for each Pokemon. And the one thing I wish is that the shinies weren't overworld encounters. Like, I wish, like, if you ran into a Weedle, it would test if it was shiny or not. Not, you know, you can see it in the overworld. Because I have trouble seeing colors, shades, stuff like that. And so if a Pokemon, a shiny Pokemon has pretty close to the same color palette as its original, I'd never know. Did I just send my support trainer away? I think I did. Gotta talk, stop talking with my hands. The only thing that, you know, they did really good was, like, the stars are very obvious when they're shiny. If you go back and look at my videos, like you can see Pidgey's stars right away, and you can see Nidoran female stars right away. So that's the only good thing they did about it, where like you don't have to battle every Pokemon, but I, don't, I just would prefer to do that. Just battle, battle, you know, see that, that Weedle right there? Just run over there. If it's shiny, great. If not, then, okay. You can run from it. I did send my support trainer away. Alright. 
I do not think we're gonna get the shiny Weedle. I think I'll get a Caterpie or Metapod or Bulbasaur, but I don't think I'm gonna get the Weedle. There's too much other stuff appearing. But, like I said, it's all about luck. So, if, you, if you're able to be lucky enough, like, you can get the Pokemon you want. <laughs> See, and I would take a Kakuna. I wouldn't care about the Kakuna. Because that still turns into a Beedrill. Let's go catch this Weedle. I mean, if I had to get something besides Weedle, I would choose. I would rather have uh, Oddish. Just because that Oddish would help against Brock tremendously. Because I think with what, like a level nine, ten Oddish, you could be. Geodude and Onyx. I think that's still his team. That's how it was in red, blue, and yellow, so... If that's not his team, then... <laughs> might be in for a different... But I don't see what else it could be. Because it can't be a Graveler. And I don't think they would have a Rhyhorn. Or I could be completely wrong when they have other Pokemon than just Rock, but that wouldn't make sense. I don't know what else they would have, honestly. I just said Geodude and Onyx, so that's what he had in the older games. And I kind of hope that's what they have now. I'm gonna catch a couple more Weedles, and if I don't see the shiny by then, I'll probably just call it.
Any of those shiny? Nope. Alright. I think I catch two more. Yeah. So, this one and then the next one. Just wait a little bit. I'm just gonna wait a couple of minutes, just watch to see if a shiny will appear. But more than likely, it's not going to. And so, if it doesn't appear, I'll, you know, it's not that long of a video. So, I'll probably put, I'll probably, I'll, I'll probably upload this just because. It's showing me get my catch combo, getting the money, so I'll I'll upload this and hopefully you guys are okay with that. If not, if you guys don't want to see me grinding to get the shiny, let me know and I'll just cut all that out and just show you pretty much the shiny videos and then me continue on with the story. But I don't know, I think it's good to put those videos on there so you see like, you know, I'm trying to get the shiny and it, it's not going to take this days, sometimes weeks, maybe months to get the shiny and you guys just don't see any videos from me on Pokemon and you're like, well, is he even doing anything else? I knew he was going to go down. Right, so no shiny. So I'm going to go sell the candies I got transfer some Pokemon to get more candy and sell that. And then I'm gonna go back to the forest and I'll probably end my video there unless something happens. I 
there we go. We started out with 15,000 and now we're at 16. So that's much better. And I haven't transferred any Pokemon. I keep forgetting to do that before I sell the candy. But I think that's kind of a good thing. Um, I'm not transferring until after I sell the candy because if you get 999 candy, you don't get any more. So if you have 900 candies and you get 100 candies for what you did, you're losing out on one candy, but it potentially could be more. So that's why, like, when I'm when I'm be shiny hunting in Mount Moon, I know I'm gonna have to cut out a lot of stuff because I'm gonna be catching a bunch of Pokemon. But also, I'm not gonna wanna show me running back and forth to the Mart all those times to sell the candy. Because I know that's what I will be doing. Alright. And then sell the little amount of candies I have right now. But you see how I have 59 Weedle candy now? So if I get that shiny Weedle, I can put all those Weedle candies on the Weedle. And it will be so much stronger compared to the my other Pokemon. Sorry about that. It will be so much stronger than compared to my other Pokemon. Of course, you're flying in right there. And I forgot to buy more Pokeballs. Well, let me see if anything's shiny here. Nope. Okay. Back to buy more Pokeballs. <laughs> okay, bye. Get 60 of them. So I'm going to be catching 30 Weedle if I don't see a shiny before that. And I don't think I... W I think this one's going to be a long hunt because the forest, there's so many spawn places. And I'm only looking at one patch. So a shiny could spawn right below me and I'll never know. And that's why people normally hunt right here. So they'll stand, well, right here. They'll stand right here. And they'll see all the Pokemon appearing. And they'll wait to see if they find sparkles. The reason why I don't like doing this is because there's so many Pokemon around that I can't, I can barely see them all. But also, I know that Pidgeys love to fly into me every chance they get. Oh, I'm just going to run into me, more than likely. But this is without a lure. This many Pokemon spawn down here. With a lure, it'd be two times that amount. Like, they'd be taking up every spawn space they can. No sparkles. No sparkles. No sparkles.
Get on those sparkles. Well, in the next video, that's where I'm going to be. And I'm probably just going to sit there, stand there and wait until I see a shiny. And depending on, you know, what the shiny is, I may be able to count it towards my team. But if it's Pidgey, I can't. And then I'm going to have to get my catch combo all the way back up again. So... In this video, we got the catch combo up to 60, and now we're sitting at the bottom part, well, right underneath the exit of the forest, where we can see two different spawn places, and we get to see a lot of different Pokemon. If you guys like this video, like the series, hit that like button for me, subscribe to my channel. When you subscribe to my channel, make sure you hit the notification bell. That way, when I release a new video, you get notified that a video was released. Um, I still need Pokemon nicknames for my Shinies. So please go in the comments section and let me know what you think Pidgey and Nidoran Females nicknames should be. And whichever comment I like the best with the nickname, that's the one I will pick. This is Trent. Take care.